Welcome to Afro Nation, where we bring you history and current happenings around Africa. Official residential houses of presidents of countries are called different names depending on the country. Some call this palace, others government house, presidential villa, state house, executive mansion. It is always expected that these buildings of great significance and importance are magnificent enough to rank with the best in the country and around the world. A lot of presidential palaces are sites worth building and here are the top 10 most beautiful presidential palaces in Africa. Number 10. State House, Kampala, Uganda. State House is the official residence of the President of Uganda, situated at Entebbe, 40 km south of Kampala, capital of Uganda. Zaja sends a ceremonial H-shaped building which hosted the Queen of England on her visit to Uganda for the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. The State House had some renovations with a project cost of approximately $1.6 million. Number 9. The Flagstaff House, Accra, Ghana. This unique architectural masterpiece is the residence and office of the President of Ghana. The Flagstaff House was constructed and inaugurated by the government of President John Agye Kumkufo. The cost of the construction was around $45 to $50 million. Number 8. Presidential Palace, Noakot, Mauritania. Mauritania's presidential palace is located in the center of the city. It is made to sit on extensive grounds and beautiful gardens and is indisputably the most spectacular landmark in the city. This site houses the president of Mauritania and is the principal administrative office of the government of Mauritania. Number 7. I have a lower palace, Antananarivo, Madagascar. The Avaloa Palace is a unique and spectacular building situated at the base of a beautiful vegetation rich hilltop. Located 15 kilometers to the south from Antananarivo, Madagascar, it is the official residence of the President of Madagascar. Number 6. Union Buildings, Pretoria, South Africa Just like an ancient temple adorning the city it governs, the Union Buildings are a modern-day citadel built at the highest point of South Africa's capital city, Pretoria. It forms the official seat of South Africa's government and houses the president as well as the Department of Foreign Affairs. With its vast gardens, the buildings are located in Pretoria and constitute the South African National Heritage Site. These remarkable buildings built from light sandstone was designed by the architect Sir Herbert Baker in the English monumental style and are 285 meters long. It has become an iconic landmark of Pretoria and South Africa in general and is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Africa. Number 5. The Unity Palace, Yaoundé, Cameroon. The Unity Palace is an outstanding architectural masterpiece. Its most prominent features include the towering pillars that hold its walls, pleasant surroundings, and lush greenery around it. Located in the region Etudi Yaoundé, it is the residence of the President of Cameroon. Number 4. Presidential Palace, Dakar, Senegal The Palace of the President of Senegal is considered a historic house. It was the official residence of the Governor General of French West Africa, who has now become the head of state and is located on the plateau. The construction of the presidential palace in Dakar started in 1902 by, by Gaston Domag, who was then Minister of Colonies living in St. Louis and intended staying in the capital as a governor of French West Africa at the time. With the classic white outlook and spacious gardens beautifying it, presidential palace Dakar, Senegal is one of the most beautiful sites in Africa. Number 3. Presidential Palace, Atom, Sudan Sudan's presidential palace, otherwise known as Gordon's Palace, is very historical. The name was derived from a governor while still a British colony, General Charles Gordon. Unfortunately, he was decapitated on the stairway in the northwestern corner of the palace on 26 January 1885. Since then, it has continued to serve as the official residence of Sudan's president until when the construction of a new palace was completed right next to the old palace. The new palace was officially opened on the 26th 
January 2015 on the exact day Charles Gordon was beheaded on the white stairs of the old palace years back. Both palaces are adorned with invaluable relics, antiques and beautiful flowers and are located on the Blue Nile Street adjacent the Palace Museum in Tattoo. Which one do you prefer, the old or the new palace? Let us know in the comment section. Number two, State House of Namibia, Wunduwek, Namibia. The State House of the Republic of Namibia, constructed on an elevated platform and bordered by a two kilometers long steel fence with black glass towers and large guard rooms, is a castle, or better still, a stronghold. It covers 25 hectares of land and is located in the Osbeck suburb of Windhoek. This breathtaking site is the administrative capital of Namibia as well as the official residence of the president of Namibia. The state house was designed by the North Korean company Mansudei Overseas Projects. It is reported that the administrative building cost a staggering 400 million Namibia dollars and took approximately 66 months to construct. Number 1. Abdin Palace, Cairo, Egypt Abdin Palace is a historic Cairo palace considered to be one of the most luxurious palaces in the world. It has very exotic embellishments, paintings and a large number of cloths scattered in the palace and wings, most of which are decorated with pure gold. It is located on Kas El Nil, Street in eastern downtown Cairo, Egypt. It was the royal residence until the monarchy was abolished in 1952. The palace has 500 suits and is the official residence and main office of the president of Egypt. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to our channel and don't forget to comment, like, and share.